Hi everyone, good morning. With me, Patricia Chiwanano again here. Today I'm going to talk about tick to gloss. Now, what is tick to gloss? Tick to gloss is a special technique for teaching grammar. So by tick to gloss, I mean you are going to listen to me read a text, a bit long text, and then you'll have to repeat um, the listening at least two times. So in the first listening, you just listen to me read the whole text until it is finished. And then in the second listening, you may take time to note down some important points. And then uh, you turn off the video and then you just write down everything that you can get from your notes about the text that I have read. So that's take the close. You do this individually and then later you can match your work with your friends' works. Or if you are in a group, you can match each other's work to see uh, some points that you may miss and some points that your friends may complete. So by working together, you can complete the whole text. And at the same time, you focus on the grammatical accuracy of your text. Okay, so that's take the gloss. So I'm going to read to you a text about uh, positive thinking. And then you just listen to it. And then you listen again. You may post the video. And then you listen again the second time. Uh, this time you can write down some important points on your notes. And then after that, you take some time to rewrite the whole text again. Um, in your own words, but you can rely on, you can look back at the notes that you have made from my reading. So that way, you'll be able to focus on the text, on the content of the text, as well as attending to your grammatical accuracy. And that's what Tick the Gloss is all about. Okay, now I'm going to read your text. Just listen carefully. And after the uh, first reading, you may pause the video or you may rewind the video so that you can listen to it once more, uh, one more time. Okay, let's start. So, yes, let me start. Uh, positive thinking, how to stop negative self-talk to reduce stress. Is your glass half empty or half full? How you answer this age-old question about positive thinking may reflect your outlook on life, your attitude toward yourself, and whether you're optimistic or pessimistic. And it may even affect your health. Indeed, some studies show that personality traits such as optimism and pessimism can affect many areas of your health and well-being. The positive thinking that usually comes with optimism is a key part of effective stress management. And effective stress management is associated with many health benefits. If you tend to be pessimistic, pessimistic don't despair. You can learn positive thinking skills. Positive thinking doesn't mean that you keep your head in the sand and ignore life's as pleasant situations. Positive thinking just means that you approach unpleasantness in a more positive and productive way. You think that the best is going to happen, not the worst. Positive thinking often starts with self-talk. Self-talk is the endless stream of unspoken thoughts that run through your head. These automatic thoughts can be positive or negative. Some of your self-talk comes from logic and reason. Other self-talk may arise from misconceptions that you create because of a lack of information. If the thoughts that run through your head are mostly negative, your outlook on life is more likely pessimistic. If your thoughts are mostly, mostly positive, you're likely an optimist, someone who practices positive thinking. Researchers continue to explore the, the effects of positive thinking and optimism on health. 
Health benefits that positive thinking may provide include increased lifespan, lower rates of depression, lower levels of distress, greater resistance to the common cold, better psychological and physical well-being, better cardiovascular health and reduced risk of death from cardiovascular disease, better coping skills during hardships and times of stress. Okay, so that's the text. Okay, so take some time. Um, listen again one more time. Take notes and then turn off the video and then you start writing. And later you'll check with me or with your friends how you go with your writing. And then you can, can compare each other's work. You can listen to my feedback. And together we are going to look at some of the patterns that you may still make mistakes. Some of the mistakes, some of the recurring uh, mistakes that you frequently make, uh, all will be available, all will be observable in your writing. And then we can work out uh, the solutions together. We can improve your grammar so that uh, in the long run, if you keep practicing this, if you keep practicing TikTok gloss, you will be able to write more grammatically. Stay safe and stay healthy and goodbye.